Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. I hope your weekends are going off to a great start. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, which now only puts us 13 away from the Glitch Chaos Run, which I am looking forward to. I know a lot of people are as well. Also, have a special announcement coming up later on in this episode. But first, here's your screenshot of the day sent in by Longman645. The title thread was simply, I quote, love Eden's blessing. And the seed was eight Victor Zulu, uh, zero Golf Quebec Tango Romeo. And yep, that right there is the reason why I do not really like Eden's blessing. Yes, it does give you a, a second chance of getting like a good item, but it's the equal chance of getting a horrible item, like starting with guillotine and then also giving yourself TM trainer. Woof. I, let me know Let me know if you end up winning that, that run or not on that thread, uh, Longman. I'd be curious to know. What was that sound? What was that sound that I... It sounded like we were given something. Uh, Alpha 80 Zulu, uh, Papa X-Ray Charlie Sierra. Okay, well, we've got, uh, we've got great tiers, good damage, and uh, yeah, I mean, stat-wise, we're, we're doing all right. Of course, we've got to shoot to whoop, and uh, Mom's lipstick which is eh, maybe that's the sound of what we got it sounded like we were given like i don't know like like a trinket or something at the start there i wasn't really paying attention um but yeah starting with shoop to whoop of course is going to be a huge help for us we're also starting with three hp which is good um that will that will give us enough uh enough hp to kind of you know we can we can maybe consider playing a sacrifice room maybe consider doing something a little bit risky Early on with the Devil Deal, um, 3 of HP, of course, is the base set of the amount of uh, health that Isaac starts with. So, yeah, overall, this is not too bad. Our range is going to be good. Shot speed, it's, you know, it's pretty much on point. It's not 1.0, but I'm not going to... I ain't going to create a stink for about, you know, three hundredths of a, of a point of range. I think we'll be all right. Overall, very good start. Um, but, yeah, so before I get going on this run here, I want to make an announcement really quickly. Something I talked about a couple of weeks ago doing the sponsored Raid Shadow Legends stream that's going to be happening tonight. Um, up until this point, I didn't know that, that tonight was going to be the night, um, so I apologize in advance that I didn't like express it a little bit sooner, but it will be tonight, uh, starting at 5 or 6. It's going to be between 5 and 6 p.m. Central Time uh, for the start. It's going to be very simple. We're going to do one Isaac stream before, just to kind of like, you know, just to, just to kind of get the, the, the kids rolling on in. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be doing the Raid Shadow Legends part, and then we're going to follow it with another Isaac run, just to kind of, just to kind of like you know reward the people for those of you who do stick around. Um, as far as like the specifics of everything, um, I specifically said that I would not agree to anything like a referral sign-up code or anything like that. There's there's only going to be a raid display somewhere on the screen during the raid segment, not for the Isaac stuff. Um, and again, I really appreciate everyone. Um, you know, understanding it and supporting the the whole sponsor stuff because this is this this is going to start happening. I don't want to say a lot more often, but definitely if the right deal comes down the line, um, you know, it just I I just want to I want to do that. But I also, of course, want to be very transparent with you all here because ultimately, ultimately, none of this happens without your support and your I don't want to say approval, but like your understanding. Oh wow, look at that! We get ourselves fate here. Um. So yeah, so that's going to be our first ever, and I mean ever, sponsored YouTube stream, and I'm really, really stoked, looking forward to it. Um, you know, I want to thank Raid for for being so cool and working with with basically my demands, where I just said, you know, I, I I'm more than happy to do it. I just don't want to do like a referral thing, just because like the 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 way that referrals work for we might as well go check it out. The way that referrals work for for any game or any sponsored deal is just to me, it just feels kind of grody to me. Um, I always have believed that referral programs kind of create this unrealistic expectation between the, the, I'll say influencer for now, the influencer and the, and the fans of the influencer, you know, and, and I don't want, and I don't want people to be bummed out. It's like, Hey, you know, like how many times have you ever seen an influencer be like, Hey, so use my code and we can all get the special starting pack together. A hook. And then like, you know, they never play the game again. And then people just kind of feel bummed out. Um, that's the feeling that I that I deliberately do not want to cause to people. I'm not going to dwell on this point or or you know or belay the matter. I'm just I just want to say thank you everyone uh, for allowing me to do this, and it's going to be a fun time. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't 
played Raid in like forever. And no, they're not sponsoring me to say this. I'm just being totally honest with you. Um, but you know, I, I specifically said that I would not agree to any to any sponsorship deal that has a referral thing. It doesn't matter if it's Raid. It doesn't matter if it's like HelloFresh or you know whatever. Um, I do not want to do that. Um, it's just not my jam. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to disrespect any of any mutuals of mine who have or do agree to stuff like that. It's just this is just something from my from my take. Um, you know, it's it's not that important to me to get a bunch of a bunch of referrals and signups more so than it is to like make false promises and be like you know hey like you know join my clan join my guild like that's why that's why i talked last week about warcraft rumble because like i know that people don't like mobile games and like oh it's a wow dude are you kidding me people are like oh wow it's you know, it's, a, it's a cash grab whatever blah blah i'm like i mean you can feel that way but i'm having fun with it um and they're not sponsoring me to say that i wish they were Blizzard hit me up. They spent, Blizzard used to use to sponsor stuff that we used to do, not on YouTube, but on uh, on uh, streams and stuff. But yeah, that'll be happening tonight. So if you want to see some Isaac and you want to tolerate some raid, then uh, and but support my channel, you know, you can always just mute the stream as well. Um, that would be greatly helpful. And then we're gonna at the end of the hour, uh, we're going to do another Isaac run afterwards. So it should be it should be lots of fun. We may even throw in some Dad's Home Plus or something in there. We'll see. Looking forward to it. So ch ch check it out. Again, that's going to be on YouTube, not on Twitch. This will be on YouTube. That's a YouTube exclusive uh, content. And the stream will be published and all that kind of good stuff. Um, unfortunately, I can't play any of my, <coughs> of my copyrighted uh, music at the beginning for the intro and stuff. So it'd be like kind of like a cold open. But that's fine. We'll get to the content a lot sooner than that. Um, so between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. Central is when we're going to start tonight which is uh, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern, and that is 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific time. Wow, we are just getting all my favorite items out of the way early on here. We got Abel. We got freaking... Uh, what else What else have we seen? We saw um, Notched Axe, Mom's, mom's Coin Purse. Uh, obviously going to go both here, and I'm sorry, little chub. I got to sacrifice you. We'll take the mark. Mark gives us much needed movement speed and damage. We still have flying, so we're Gucci on that. And uh, yeah, we could look for the secret room. It might be to the left of the room next to the curse room. It could be here, I guess, but I'd be surprised. Take a look. Yeah, it's here. This arrow that you see these pots making right here, not, not these pots. But these pots right here sort of make an arrow pointing towards the direction of a flat, uh, unimpeded wall. And that is a surefire way of knowing that you're looking at a secret room, most likely. Oh, wow. Look at that. We had so much money. And okay, now we got to find a Yave to get into the, to the shop. Oh, we need more money, dude. This list doing a little bit of trolling there. That's fine. We got a whole run ahead of us, game, to, to troll me. So we need some Yaves here, but uh, while we're looking for Yaves, we'll go over to last week's question of the episode, uh, of course, which was the one where I was talking about, you know, the proposal idea of having user-created uh, content that, uh, you know, I'll be analyzing and watching people's, people's runs on stream and uh, not reacting to them. Like, I'm going to be doing more than just reacting to them. I'm going to be giving my advice and, uh, you know, try to help them out in certain ways that could improve their gameplay. Um, and overwhelming, I mean, this was one of the most, mo one of the most discussed topics that we've had in quite a while. The number one most upvoted comment came in from Mello, uh, who said, uh, and by the way, I'm going by related comments because there was a lot of unrelated comments here. Uh, so I'm only going off of related comments to the, to the question of the day, not just some random stuff. It was from Mello3995 who said, yes, I think it's a great idea. Give your voice a break, please. Plus, I'm really interested to see uh, what we'll see during the week, and also amazing suggestion to be honest. Talking about the talking about people submitting their ideas, dude. Frisco Monty, come on now. You just need one key, bro. Um. So yeah. So I think that it was a it was an idea that I wasn't really down with, and then like getting more down with. Of course. Give us a key. Bro, bro, bro. We had so many opportunities to get keys there and got literally nothing. Oh, yeah, we have dust list. 
All right. A uh, second most upvoted comment came in that was related to the question anyway. Uh, came in uh, from uh, James Smoller, who said, sounds like a, a fun mix-up for a week. Talking talking about having my friends uh, and uh, and other, other mutuals uh, do a week of content where they basically will either voice over one of my runs or do one of their own runs with their own commentary. Last but not least, we had Bearded Games 89 who said, great from two perspectives. Firstly, you get a very much well-deserved rest that you so sorely need. And secondly, it will give an opportunity to the small content creators who watch you to showcase their content on a larger and very well established platform. Um, and yeah, you know, that's like, I'm not, I'm not a big YouTuber or anything. I don't consider myself to be big, um, even in the Isaac community. Um, you know, but like, we, like everyone's got to kind of start somewhere and this, this could be like some good motivation for someone who is looking to like, you know, kind of showcase their stuff, but also maybe get help with their gameplay. Um, you know, I, I think that it's a, it's a neat little trade off. Um, obviously, again, I will be any, <coughs> excuse me, the cough has been bad today. Um, any, anyone's videos that I use, um, will, will always be credited, uh, down in the, I'll credit them on obviously like talking when I'm talking about them, but also, uh, their channels can be found listed in the, uh, in the description below of every live stream that we do. So I'm planning on making it a regular thing. Once I start getting enough submissions that that's, that come pouring in. Uh, and also have enough help to go over them in a timely manner. Right now, I've had a few submissions, but um, not enough for me to like, oh wow. Not enough for me to like review review yet uh, because I'm waiting for, uh, I'm waiting to get like a, a pile of them before I start like, you know, start paying my mods to, to help me out or trusted community members to do so. Um, because I want to react to the videos and, and see the, you know, like see the videos for the first time. That way I can give my, my, unfiltered first impression of like the situation that they're in and that sort of thing instead of like pre-watching them and then watching them again um i don't think that, that would be too much fun for me because uh, then i'll know like what's coming up and stuff so yeah it, it's going to be a lot of fun um think of it like i'm probably going to name the user the mosh pit created uh live streams i'm probably going to name it probably just like like it, it'd be somewhat similar to like Bronze League Heroes, but for Isaac. <laughs> I haven't decided a good name yet. Um, Bronze League Isaac, something like that. Um, obviously, a, a nod to the Husky and Bronze League Heroes, because that's basically how I got my start. Um, other than like the WoW stuff, obviously. But it, it's a good way to pay homage to like the you know how I began my journey on YouTube, while also possibly giving other people the same opportunity. Um, you know, I just, I, my channel is not as big as Huskies was obviously, so I can only do so much, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a mutually beneficial thing. I get to kind of not put so much into, into doing the commentary, but I also kind of get to help out people with their Isaac gameplay. Um, and also I get to watch other people play Isaac for once. It's not something that I, I do anymore. Um, so it's going to be neat. I, I think that it's going to be one of those things that people might kind of like, they might have a little, a little crooked eye over it at first and be like mm, i don't know but once once you see how like we're gonna how deep we're gonna be doing a deep dive into these runs and stuff i think that people are gonna dig it now some people won't some people might find it boring and i totally get that um and we'll probably only do like three per episode or per stream um but when, once we really start getting the feel for everything i think that people are going to really be on board and and kind of you know and want to submit their their user runs and stuff so it's gonna be fun i'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing you all tonight for the uh, sponsored stream. It's it's my first ever YouTube sponsored stream, so it, it would mean a lot if uh, if we had a good turnout and uh, you know and retained a, a large portion of the viewership for the for the sponsored segment because I want to show sponsors that you know the Mosh Pit is a is a great place to to trust your your you know sponsorship dollars at and also it, you know it creates more opportunities for me. Um, and, uh, you know, it also kind of switches up the formula every now and then, you know, I think that's good. I'd love to do those bigger, more fun, more fun sponsorship stuff. And I think that starting with a raid, with a raid sponsorship, you know, will, it'd be a good litmus test to see how, 
engaged our community really is and how willing they are to to help me out and stuff so this is a tricky this is tricky this is a tricky snipe right here oh i didn't kill it excuse me Uh, look, I'm making this happen. Okay. Goes to the trite. That's fine. Not fine with getting hit, though, by these things. Come on, you can do it. This is like accuracy test times four million here. There we go. And we got a soul heart. You know what? That's fine. Worth the extra time there for an early, early game soul heart. So obviously we're looking for some raw damage here. Also, a tears up would be very nice. Wish Polycephalus wouldn't spawn ads because that's pretty much guaranteed to end our hopes and dreams of getting an extra bonus stat here from a boss fight. Okay, we get our half soul heart back, which I'm feeling a little bit better about. And we got a nickel, and we did get a tears up. So, yeah. Uh, let's take the half soul heart. And we really don't need lucky rock, but I'll still take it anyway because we're maintaining a high amount of bombs. not have shoop to whoop but we were lined up perfectly for that obviously we want the half soul heart to protect the bone heart until we can get a red heart uh to maintain the bone heart and that's probably the most times i've said the word heart that's ever been uttered ever in one sentence uh, this is this is one of those rooms where it's like mm, you probably shouldn't even try to go for death list but to be honest like so is that egglet room that we were in and we made it happen so every now and then it's good to give yourself a challenge Okay, so we do have a sacrifice room here, and this is interesting. The reason why this is interesting is because we have Maggie's bow. Now, Maggie's bow is going to heal us for double the amount of red hearts that we pick up. So, for example, if you just looked at our bone heart right there, that actually healed us for one full heart instead of a singular half heart. Okay? So what this means is that we can, technically speaking, if you want to think of it obtusely, if we get enough red hearts, or at least enough half red hearts, we can hit for double the amount of value for red hearts only, not for soul hearts, but for red hearts. That was quite the leap there. So, year of the sack room, definitely in play here. How did that... You know what? Whatever. Death list is one of those items that just kind of has been falling off for me lately. I think that it's an item that, you know... It was definitely deserved of its status of being like S tier back in the day. But it feels like there's just more and more ways that the game has come up with to make sure that you don't get a payout. Whether that be like random things that like, like the, the infamy mask, for example, that like kind of just make their own, like as soon as, as soon as you beat the heart, like the mask disappears and that counts against death's list. Like it's a, it's a very fickle item. The luck upgrade there, hooray. Okay, we get a free entry into the curse room. That's fine. Still looking for an item room in our shop. But, like, it just it just feels that way. I, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it just seems like Death's List is just not really popping the way it used to anymore. Now, combined with other, like, stat, like, passive stat generators, Death's List is still great. Don't get me wrong. Um, there's no downside to it. It's just a, kind of a bummer whenever you're, like, you perfectly execute a pattern in, in a room and then like it just gets sniped because oh hey look this random spider just came out of nowhere you know it also feels like I don't know if anyone's kind of felt this way either but god please game it kind of feels like they've toned down the amount of stat ups that you get from Death's List I don't know if that's just that's just me Noticing things that is just like kind of like a bias or if it's true It feels like it's almost like pulling teeth these days to get a to get a payout from death list and, and give like actual stats 
It seems like it's always a pill or like a consumable or something like that. I don't know. It's 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 weird. With Isaac, you just never know. Like, how many times have we seen like new rooms that we've never seen before just get patched into the game randomly? You know, there's a, there's a lot of hidden stuff in Isaac. And unironically, or I should say, ironically, having a low amount of damage actually makes completing death list a little bit easier. Because if you if you happen to miss, see, look, we just got another, another luck up. Um, if you happen to miss a target and hit something else, you don't have the damage to one shot them. So you, there's a little bit of forgiveness factor there. There's a little leeway. Let's keep. Let's try to keep an eye on how many stats we get here. So far, I've counted two luck ups, and that is it. Be a fun, fun excursion for the stat keepers of the mosh pit to figure out. Like, in total, how many stat ups did we get from Death's List? This is going to be impossible. I'm not going to try. I don't know why these bomb flights look like they're moving so. S oh, you know why? It's because it's because of uh, Skatol. That's why. Like, did we, did we get some lazy bomb flies or what's going on? But yeah, Skatol. Like causing that we're still uh still looking for the boss room here we go we do another full clear everybody this room might be here the room's definitely here All right You have nine lives, so definitely playing early sack rooms can be good. Not going to use any more bombs than that. Well, maybe do one more. We've got eight of them. Unless, of course, he does that. A key and a tears and uh, shot speed upgrade. Yeah... I mean, I'm going to go with Mega here. Was that a judgment? Was that a judgment or a three skull Monty? I think it was a three skull Monty, but it's showing up as judgment. On the map. I don't remember now. We get Mega, which is going to greatly help out with our clear speed. Um, let's take away one of our HP upgrades, though. Uh, it was a three skull Monty. I don't know. That looks like to, that looks like it's representing as a judgment to me. Let's see if we can make something happen here. I don't want to lose the bone heart yet. And to be honest with Mega, we could probably just go straight to Lamb. I wouldn't end the run there, of course. I'd probably do a greed run if anything. But with nine lives, I mean, the, the problem is that our damage is not. This is not Lamb worthy here. Unless we just got insane devil deals in the dark chest. Okay, so there we go. We get another half red heart, which is going to be a full heart. But with Mega, as long as we know where we're going, and that's obviously, obviously always the challenge for me. Um, if we know where we're going, then... Uh, you know, going to land may not be a bad idea. Skipping depths one and depths two is a little bit, a little bit monka s, I believe the kids say. Um, and we wouldn't have the Polaroid or the negative. Did you decide to do the skip? Let me let me put some money back first. We are oh yeah, it was a greed fight. Never mind. Probably won't do the skip. It does it doesn't make sense from a safety standpoint. I don't feel like going all the way back there, so I'm going to sacrifice the Bone Heart. We get a uh, chance for an Angel Deal item. Me Redemption. Surprise, surprise. Some control Bombs. Okay, we get our Soul Hearts, which is good. Now, before we go into there, before we tap it again, let's go see what's inside of the boss trap room. And... Hmm... Nice Emperor card. So that actually means 
actually makes the skip more doable now because we can just go straight to lamb. Okay, I'm, I'm down for it. Now, I don't want to pick up any, any soul hearts yet because we don't know how many, how many taps it's going to take to get to the dark chest. Hopefully just a couple. There we go. And now, I mean, on, honestly, the Emperor card set me over the edge for the decision. Uh, yeah, take War Babylon, gave us a little bit of extra damage. And empty Vesadu. So don't really, we don't need Succubus with Mega, so. Have a little double feature here on this Saturday. There we go. Look at that. How about that? I was not expecting that, but you know what? We'll take it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that to you. Let's do a greed run. It's been a while since we do, we've done a greed run, honestly. Um, you want Eden? Who do we want? Give me, give me a classic Isaac. Let's do, let's do a classic Isaac. Isaac Greed. Good day for the second run. X-Ray 3, Whiskey 7, Romeo Golf, 0N. I thought about Judas, but I was like, mm, I kind of want to play Isaac for the D-Sizzle. Oh, baby. All right, so a little bit of extra innings here, everybody. Demon judgment up there with a whole bunch of whole bunch of keys. Uh, I mean, we did get we did get three bombs, so definitely one bomb for both of these keys is going to save us a lot of money. Um, I will go take this half heart next to the demon judgment, but I'm not going to play him, even though the demon judgments in greed mode have a have an accelerated uh, payout. But Synth Oil to start with is going to be huge, obviously, getting that range, getting that damage. And, of course, contributing to Spun. Yes, sir. And it's been a while since we've done a, an extra greed run, so... Run was short enough, and I, I sprayed a little bit of the spray to help out with the cough, so... Shouldn't be as prevalent as it was earlier. Super excited to see everyone tonight. I, I'm really, 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 I'm, I'm curious to see how well the sponsored segment's going to go. Um, I think that, you know, with the, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to show, to show how, how strong of a community the Mosh Pit is, really. Um, and plus, I mean, y'all get, y'all get extra Isaac content too tonight, so. Uh, let's go... We're gonna buy Crack Jacks just because it is a it is an HP upgrade, and also like we're about to get into the Devil deal, and it's half price too. That also kind of helps. I'm still in Eden mode. Like I still feel like we have uh, nine lives, and I've got Death's List. I keep looking for the keep looking for the skull. Also, kind also kind of wish that we had uh, Shoop to Whoop for Greed. Yeah, we got one of them down. I'm still not happy about taking damage on the creep, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see you, game. Trying to sneak a little, little extracurricular spider in there, huh? The name of my, uh, my goth band, by the way. Hello, everybody. We are Extracurricular Spider, and we're sad. And that sounds like this. One, two, three. <laughs> Actually, that's probably a little bit too metal for goth. Um. Yeah. I think we need a heart. I'll buy a heart if we get a nickel out of this.
just in case of an unexpected Krampus fight. Double Monstro is not what I wanted to see, but luckily, double regular Monstro. And not something crazy like quadruple red Monstro. That's for the next floor. So people have been asking when is the when is the the Sinvicta takes a week off going to happen. My plan was honestly this coming week, starting on Sunday, as in tomorrow. But I don't have enough of my friends who have done their videos yet. I wanted to do it for Thanksgiving week because like that would line up perfectly for me. But I don't think it's going to happen. It's just not in the cards. So once I get all seven runs uh, done. Uh, by by the people involved, then I will I will take the week off. But I will let everybody know when it when it happens. I'm not going to just spring it upon people. <coughs> there we go. That goes Monstro. And I mean, Lord of the Pits always kind of pog, flying in movement. You can re-roll the headless baby, and who. <laughs> Yeah, Lusty Blood in Greed Mode is just too good to pass up, so... Um, I think we're good here. We have enough for a premium item. Who are you? You were Brittle Bones? Or, uh, Bone Spurs? Yeah. That's fine. So we gotta take it a little bit carefully in the second floor here, but if we get a couple Soul Hearts, maybe an HP upgraded too, then we are Gucci fam, as Mathis would say. I mean, this kills the speed that we just got, but it is two HP. Or never mind, it's one HP. Ooh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. We can get an HP upgrade without lowering our movement speed by a lot. A charge baby is honestly not bad. There's also a tinted rock in here. Sea bizzle. Aha! You didn't want to lower your movement speed? Well, too bad, nerd! Fine. Charge baby, it's no. That's a big no to Sanguine Bond. Love to get the stapler here. Okay. The Lusty Blood, of course, is going to give us more damage uh, based on how many enemies we kill in a room. And that damage resets once we leave the room. But obviously, there's a big, big advantage to having something like Lusty Blood inside a greed mode. And the reason is because we never leave this room. As long as we never leave this room, we will always have this damage bonus. So it's a very good way to ramp up your DPS while also increasing your kill speed and staying safer because obviously you're dealing more damage, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that bone spurs doing some work. Okay, we got a decent amount of money here. Um, not enough HP for us to really... We don't have enough HP for us to take a devil deal, though, which is kind of concerning. So we are going to have to leave this room eventually. This is not a good fight for us. Okay, now it's a good fight for us. The problem with two prides is that if they both if they both start doing the cross shot, it gets problematic. The question is, do we leave now to go get some HP for our devil deal, but we lose our damage bonus from Lusty Blood, or do we just stick it out and maybe reroll into like nine lives or something? I think I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna get some more HP because I do want to take a devil deal. Um, get the stapler we can buy two soul hearts and that's good enough obviously I don't want obviously I don't want to waste a reroll
Get nine lives anyway. I figured it would probably show up since we saw it in the Eden run, so yeah, that was a good bet. Bro, I'm glad you like you got the dodging shoes on and stuff, and that's cool and all, but you're not impressing anybody. Like, if you could just die, that'd be cool. Thanks. Um Yeah, so let's take nine lives. And then we reroll betrayal. And don't take hungry soul. Well, hungry soul is not terrible. It's not terrible, but it's not good either. We we'll gain a half heart here thanks to the flying. So we don't have enough for a reroll in the item room. I don't even remember. Oh, it was Thunder Thighs. That's right. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. I'm good. Tower card. Yeah, reverse tower card and reverse devil card. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get this tinted rock here, so we're just going to have to deal with that. All right. Finally, we get a tears upgrade here in shot speed. Get a random soul heart. I'll take that. And half price bomb. Yeah, there's no reroll pedestal in the shop, which is always kind of a kick in the... You know what? Um, I'm going to use the tower card now. Did get one in a rock. And that's it. So I'm curious to see what this is going to do to the pathing in this room. Because obviously the game was not prepared for us to use the reverse tower card in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, this should be interesting. Yep. Exactly what I was kind of expecting here. Hmm. The game is very confused right now. And honestly, I'm like more than happy to make the game confused because, you know, screw the game. You know what I mean? The bonies may the dark bonies may give an opportunity for some release up here. Nope. I don't know if we made this worse or made it better for ourselves. It is funny though. Okay, bony. We didn't we didn't even get a chance to kill him. Oh, there's two up here too. Okay. But yeah, yeah, we definitely made this worse on ourselves. Although I'm pretty sure that that champion over there was destroyed by the game spawning in the walking host. Okay, we're going to have to bomb here. The Joker card. Honestly, give me the Joker card now while we have a reroll. We get Gubby's head. Oh my gertie, what is happening? And we get an empty vessel too. Wow. I guess the game is just like the game's just like, yo. Take it easy today. You know what? I appreciate that game. But still screw you game. Um you can get seven cents or six cents there. You get a soul heart here. We still don't really have anything interesting in there, so I'm gonna re-roll now. And we get Mr. Dolly, which is going to be a range up and a huge tears up. And then there's also skinny on mushroom, but I don't know if we need skinny on mushroom necessarily. Because I don't want to lower our damage. But at the same time, wow, okay, we got a huge, huge uh, shield there for a minty vessel. At the same time, though, um, it would max out our tears rate, but it kills our damage. And we also have, we also have um, lusty blood, which is, I don't believe is, is negatively impacted by um mini mush or a uh, skinny on mushroom so question is do we do we take this for i think we do take it just to max out our tears rate 
It's a slight damage down, but it's nothing to really cause a stink over. Um, we don't have a key, so. Go in the curse room here, so we got plenty of HP to do so. And, yep. Yeah. Okay. Wheezy, we could have maxed our tears right anyway without the damage down. We also get mom's wig. There we go. Man, we really, really made a comeback on our HP. Um, Don't want to necessarily skip a floor in greed. Unless if it's, unless if it's like Shoal or something that doesn't have like a reroll machine. And honestly, Brit, like, uh, Bone Spur is just taking things out. Like, as soon as it spawns, it's dealing instant damage. So it's almost like we're dealing extra damage per per kill. Which is really nice. And technically, we are dealing extra damage per kill because we've got Lusty Blood. So all this works in, in our favor. Of course, it's only going to increase the amount of damage that our guppies fly, our guppy flies, <coughs> do in, as well. <coughs> Double, Mister Fred. It is. I find it interesting that we were that we were able to back away from that one, but not this one. Weird. Guppy's collar, which we don't actually need, to be honest. Uh, sack dagger. Ooh, but we do like we do like black powder inside of inside of greed mode, especially is real nice. So, um, I don't remember if deep pockets works in greed, but I guess we'll find out. We also have PH Dizzle in there a lot of pills so take ph dizzle well actually there's not really a reason for us to take phd we don't need tears anymore we don't need range we do need movement speed but we can just find that re-rolling so yeah, i'm fine with i'm fine with holding on to our money And Curse of the Blind. And that would be another one of those times where we just put the bare minimum effort into uh into this this floor, so good on you game for demonstrating a point of where I would immediately skip a floor. I do firmly believe that Curse of the Blind should not be in greed mode. In, if you want it in greedier, fine. Let it let it be in greedier. But I think that a majority of people will probably agree with the fact that Curse of Blind just takes any fun out of greed mode. For me, anyway. I mean, I'm not going to speak for everybody, obviously, but. And I gotta say, Bone Spurs is really doing a lot of work for us. I never, never really looked at it as a as a damage booster before, and it is tearing it up. There we go, and no, I'm I'm serious. I'm not gonna give the game the satisfaction of giving us a blind, blind floor in greed mode. I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I say, screw you, game, and another curse of blind. It was that. I'm telling you. People keep saying I'm crazy. Crazy old Invicta is saying that the game listens. Tell me I'm tell me I'm lying. Game's like, well, you don't want to take blind items? Well then screw you. You know what? I don't even care if that item's free game. I don't. Literally, I didn't start talking about blind items until like the previous floor, and now it's back to back blind items after having no curses at all. 
If that doesn't say that the game is not listening to you, I don't know what does. Every single day, and when we record these episodes, it lends more and more credence to the idea that the game is adjusting itself on the fly. As dumb as it sounds. It's truly remarkable that it's like so many, like such a pattern is more than just coincidence. It's insane, man. It really is. Now, do I truly believe that? No, the game does not possess that kind of technology, but it's just, it's just fun to, it's fun to act. You know? It is kind of ridiculous though. Oh, poor monstros. A circle game. Thank you. I think what we do here is just re-roll for soul. Oh, there's another one. Oh, excuse me. As if four four bosses weren't big big enough. My bad game. A black powder, of course. If you do a circle on the ground, literally, if you draw a circle on the ground, it turns into this big red patch of damage that hits everything in it, including uh, I don't know what that physics was, but. Including anything in the air as well. So we're just re-rolling for uh, soul hearts. And then we're just going to empty our entire bank. And of course, we're not going to see any soul hearts because the game knows what we're trying to do. Again, you get to see the, the proof is in the pudding there, there sweetheart. So here we go. This is not an ideal ultra greed build, but you know, the game is just doing what it does. Our job just to give the middle finger anyway. So what's nice about Lusty Blood and Greed is that we always have ads to kill. The coins do not count as ads, but the greed heads and the the gapers do, the, the little keepers that he spawns. Empty vessel, of course, is gonna be a big help. Again, what's going on with the physics, your your guess is as good as mine. We don't have the movement speed, unfortunately, for me to try to sneak a couple of uh, circles on them. Here we go. And we get hit immediately. All right. Oh, okay. We get hit twice. There we go. I'm gonna go ham here with a bone spur. Got to get the, got to get the circles going. The size of the circle does not, does not increase the damage that it does. It only increases the radius. The black powder does. We got a random. We got to stop him from getting this. He will heal off of coins that he picks up. Just keep that in mind. Didn't know that. So basically, we have to wait for Empty Vessel to proc, and then we go in with Black Powder. The Bone Spurs pretty much took care of all the adds, so... I would like our movement speed to be a little bit higher than it is right now, ideally for a Greed fight. But... We are going to make it eventually there. We got there. And uh, hey, look at that. Thumbs up for a double run here on Saturday. I hope to see you all in the live stream tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun again, starting about five to six hours from when this video went live. For those of you who don't want to do the current, the, uh, the time conversion. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Again, if you did, make sure you click the like button. Let's get this video over 3,000 likes. And I will see you all tonight for the live stream. Your question of the episode is going to be what is your take on the dark room to the or the dark chest skip now that you've seen it for a strategic value do you think it's ever worth it do you think it's just too risky i know i've asked this question before but i want to see your updates your updated take on that especially if you get like an emperor card your nuanced take post them in the comments down below the top three will get read on next week's episode and thank you 
for being here. Thank you for being the mosh pit. I really appreciate it, everyone. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Odd O'Day, Flots Callan Canstony, and Michael McMaster. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.